Wow, it's freezing out here. Look at all this snow. Oh, what's this? They just gonna leave my phone out here like that in the cold? Yo, I couldn't believe it when FedEx just left my brand new phone, which is quite expensive out in the cold. I thought it required signature. So today I'm going to do a simple unboxing. Let me show you my lineup of phones which I've had in the past. So as you can see right here, we have the old style Samsung flip phone to the Motorola. These were popular razors upwards to, you know, these slide phones, which is very popular. I think these were the earlier... Oh, there it is. This is a flip keyboard. And what's this? This is a slide keyboard upwards to when it was just a simple smartphone like these. Like iPhone 4, I even have the box, original box. I'm actually recording with my Samsung Note 9. All right, so we're going to put all these ancient dinosaurs out of the way and do a quick unboxing for you guys. This was the exterior box that was shipped in. Okay. Oh, what kind of honeycomb wrapping is this? That's the first. Looks like origami. But at least they wrapped it up properly because last time it was just a box inside a box. That looks pretty and all. Hey, I could probably reuse this. Oh, wow. That is a fancy box right here. Check it out. Gather around all your ancient dinosaurs and admire the beauty of this. Samsung S22 Ultra box. That is beautiful right there. Okay, let's open this up carefully. That's how you do a packaging right here. It's a beauty. Sometimes the packaging can impress you as equally that's the phone. Oh, there it is. So let me introduce to you the Samsung S22 Ultra in the exclusive red colorway. Oh. Hey, that doesn't really look like red. Is this salmon? I think it's salmon color. So it actually kind of looks like a salmon. What do you guys think? Pink, red, salmon. As you can see right here, it has the quad rear camera with a maximum capacity of 108 megabytes wide angle camera. Okay, that's the beauty right here. Let's go ahead and remove this film. Oh, nice and fresh and clean. I think I'm okay with this color. I was hoping for like a more darker red. Do you see a Samsung logo right there? Let me go ahead and remove this. Yeah. That's a beauty right here. And I noticed, oh, they moved the S Pen to the left side instead of the right side. And I noticed it got rid of the audio jack. So for the exterior microphone devices, you have to purchase a special uh, USB-C type of jack. I believe these are the microphone ports. Oh, looks like they incorporated the uh, volume controls. Okay, the power buttons on top. This looks very nice. Okay, so let me show you what's also included inside here in the packaging and underneath. It looks like there is a very simple quick start guide and a USB to USB-C cable. There is no wall wall jack kind of disappointed with that i think they were trying to save uh, money on the production costs and i just realized on the reverse side here is the sim pin to remove the each sim card tray and keep in mind there's no longer tf card support but i do have the 512 gigabyte version so that's plenty of memory and it is also the unlocked version actually i'm wrong it looks like they got rid of all the buttons on the left side and these must be the volume rockers right here so this must be the power button looks like they move stuff around I mean after all 
Uh, I haven't had a upgrade in my phone for four years, Samsung Note 9 being my last latest upgrade, and that was back in November 2018. Okay, while that's loading up, I notice that's a front camera right there, and the front camera has a capacity of 40 megapixels, which can do 4K videos. That's why I decided to upgrade. And with the rear camera, you can do 8K videos. Looks like there's some juice in here already. Oh, I really like this screen right here. It has wrap around capability. Now this is a very large phone, measuring at uh, 163.3 millimeters by 77.9 by 8.9 millimeters in thickness, and it weighs about 228 grams. But what I do really like is the 6.8 inches of screen, which is the Edge Quad HD Plus Dynamic AMOLED 2 times 2x. Also featuring the Infinity O display with a resolution of 3088 by 1440, and it has 120 hertz refresh rate. Wow, here's what it looks like after I completed all the setup. Let's go ahead and peel the side tape too. I'm really admiring the beauty of this. Wow. It's so smooth. Yeah, they definitely relocated the buttons from the left side. It used to be volume rack rockers and a Bixby. Now it's all located to the right side. Let's check out the S Pen. I believe you can use it as even a remote. Yeah. Very nice color, matches the back of the case. You have a lot of functions that you can configure right here. I really love the S Pen. Let's go ahead and test out the processor capability. Let me go ahead and play a video. Let's, let's just go ahead and play this one. Jamie, David, I can tell it's much there we go. To Look the at that beautiful the screen. Covers pretty much almost the whole screen. So it's running at with the Qualcomm SM8450 Snapdragon 8 Generation 1 chipset using Android 12. It's upgradable to Android 12, 13 operating system. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison between guess which one is the Note 9, which one is the S22 Ultra. If you guess this one is the Note 9, you are correct because the S22 Ultra has grown in size in all three dimensions, length, width, and thickness, especially with the weight. I think it grew about 28 grams, okay? And like I mentioned, they removed the, or oh, they relocated the volume and the Bixby, got rid of the Bixby, everybody hated the Bixby button. Relocated to everything to be on the right, okay? Like I mentioned, they removed the audio jack. All right, and the front-facing camera is now on the display versus the bezel. Now, back to back, of course, we have the much more improved camera lens, which I'm happy about. I'll be making plenty of more videos. As I mentioned earlier, this would be a very simple unboxing and compare and contrast video. I will be testing out the rear camera capability specifically with 4K 6, uh, 30 frames per second because on the Note 9 is not able to handle 60 frames per second and also not with the iPhone 7. So I'll be pitting S22 Ultra versus the Note 9 and also the iPhone 7 which I'm using to record. cold out here.
It sure is cold out here. Wow, it sure is cold out here. Wow, big round of applause. I am shocked by how big an improvement the picture quality and also the video quality is with using the Samsung S22 Ultra, especially during the dark, taking pictures or videos. It was able to take the outline of the snow, which was hard to distinguish with these iPhone 7 and the Note 9, which I'm using to record now. There are a lot of aspects of this powerful phone that I have to learn and master. And with its much stronger chipset, it's going to power you through the toughest apps. I am pretty sure you have many apps running at the same time. Even doing some video editing and watching videos is going to be able to support it. And with is large capacity storage for me it's 512 gigabyte making this the ideal phone because it has the best camera capability out there so if you are looking for the perfect smartphone especially being an android device definitely check out the samsung s22 ultra if you're lucky like me you probably get the exclusive red color too